This is an A to J guided interview as the end user, the pro se litigant or the self-represented litigant would see it. We have a guide avatar on the pathway to the courthouse with step signs along the way corresponding to the steps that the end user must take to complete their document. Generally, a guided interview begins with a in couple introductory screens that explain what form is being filled out and the next steps in the process. They generally also include screens like this one here that uh, lay out the relationship and explain that this is not legal advice, that this is not taking the place of an attorney, and requires the end user to acknowledge that no attorney-client relationship is being formed between them and the sponsoring agency. If they click no, they're taken to a page that says they cannot continue until they agree to the terms of use. They can either exit and be taken out of the guided interview, generally to another web page, or they can click go back and agree to the terms. This is an example of a learn more. A learn more is what we call just in time learning. It pops up at the point in which the end user would need it. It can include text, pictures, or videos. This one includes text and a picture of our, our logo. This is an example of a learn more video. It can include short videos that explain to the end user certain legal concepts. Hello and welcome to the Michigan Hall of Justice. This is the headquarters of the judicial branch in Michigan. The State Court Administrative Office, the Michigan Court of Appeals, and the state's highest court, the Michigan Supreme Court, are all located here. In this building, the seven justices of the Michigan Supreme Court gather to decide cases. Oral this video uh, was taken off of the Michigan Supreme Court YouTube channel. Once the end user has gotten through the introductory pages, they are then starting, uh, the questions begin. So for example, the end user would be asked for their name. They're asked for their gender. The gender is used to populate an avatar that represents them on the pathway to the courthouse. Once they select a gender, the end user's avatar appears. The guide avatar turns towards the end user avatar and begins a more conversational approach. This question here is asking two parts. First, it's asking for their birth date, and then it's, there is logic on the back end that is evaluating whether that birth date, when converted to years, is over 18. For the purposes of this demo and for many forms, the end user must be 18 in order to use it or there are subsequent follow-up questions. In this case, if the end user is under 18, they're taken to a page that would ask them who a legal adult is in their life that can sign this form for them. Since that birth date I gave is over 18 years old, it takes the end user to the next set of questions, which would be the respondent's information. This is the same kind of question that's testing whether the end or the respondent is over 18 years or not. Because they are, the end user is taken to the next question asking about jurisdiction. Pick a county in which I live as the end user. It asks, um, did I notify the respondent before filing this petition? And the end user may have forgotten who they said the respondent was again or who the respondent is in this case. So they can click learn more and it will populate using the name that they've given me before for the potential defendant. This is an example of a uh, text question that can allow for a long answer. This question is asking why the end user is seeking a protection order. It's likely going to be a fairly long, several paragraphs long, describing the incidents of abuse and including the date, the injuries, and any witnesses or children present. In this case, the end user can type as much information as they need to. They aren't constrained by the space. Once they start typing, there is a little button over here that can expand the text box um, to give them more room as they continue typing. Now that we've gotten to the end of this sample, 
the end user would be able to click get my document and immediately their PDF document would be generated. In the case in which this was connected to an electronic filing system, the, the user's information would also be able to be sent on to the court's e-filing system. This is an example of what the petition would look like. It has the county, it has the state, it has the name of the petitioner, their gender, their birth date, the name of the respondent, gender, and birth date, and the type of order. The type of order is a 20-day protection order. When I said yes, that I had notified John Thomas Smith, this box was checked. And then when I had filled in the description of what occurred, it was included on the form as well.